UFP, the United Federation of Podcasts. To all who listen to this happy podcast, this is Mickey's Marvels on the United Federation of Podcasts. You can contact the network at contact.ufp.earth, on Twitter at UFP Earth, and we're also on Facebook. Hi, I'm Patrick Magic Devlin, and join with me as always on this journey will be the great Chris Tribuzio. Hey there, I'm Chris Tribbs Tribuzio, and together we're putting together a podcast called Mickey's Marvels. This show is put together by fans for fans. We'll take some current news and talk about it, but what you're really going to want to listen to is our movie review where we take movies from companies inside the Disney umbrella and discuss them with some laughs and tears along the way. There's been a lot of news out of the D23 conference this this past year with the um, about the parks and about travel, but there's also been some really big news about the D, uh, Disney Plus app that's coming on November 12th. Yeah, very big news. Uh, Marvel slated about six or uh, six or seven or so shows and movies. Uh, there's some casting that's been said. Uh, you've had some visuals for Disney or for Marvel's The Eternals. Uh, they talked about the show She-Hulk. They talked about uh, Moon Knight. They talked about the uh, most recent Ms. Marvel, which is the first Muslim character in the comics, and they're bringing her to screen. They've also been some big Star Wars announcements. Absolutely. Uh, e- e- Ewan McGregor stepped on stage, and his first words to the moderator were, please ask me if Obi-Wan is coming back. And she did, and he em- emphatically said yes to a roar yep. of the crowds as a reception. Yep, and we have the, uh, on the 12th, they're going to be releasing the Mandalorian. Yeah, he'll, he'll be getting his own show. And uh, so we don't want to leave anybody out here on this podcast. So we are going to be covering some of these shows as they air. And uh, But don't worry. Chris and I are still going to come to you every other week with our, our deep dives. We'll just be adding this in with some special guests and maybe uh, fill in here and there for one of us if we can't make it. But uh, we're going to try and bring all of this content to you as it comes out. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to uh, the Kenobi series. Um, you know, as we talked about, or as we'll talk about, there are some series that really shouldn't have been uh, shouldn't have been made or shouldn't have been thought about because they thought Disney thought that one series or one show, one movie was going to expand on this whole character universe. Um, uh, but this is but the Kenobi series is something that's always been the mystery, and I think that's what the fans want is the, the characters that have a mystery to them. And they make a story out of it. Yeah, I agree. And I think that um, maybe this isn't the most popular opinion, but I think Disney's the right company to do it. I think they do a good job of not screwing up whatever their canon is at the time when they do these kinds of stories. Like we saw with Spider-Man. Yeah, um, it's like we saw with Spider-Man. But also, uh, I think when we'll get into this when we cover it, but I think Rogue One was the most interesting of the prequel series if you think about it because it was a story that was never told and you know those that put it together actually did a really good job and actually tied in the story of how the plans got uh how the plans of the death star got to the rebels and it was a very well done story it's one of the ones i i truly enjoy um to me and I'm pretty much going on a ramble here, but to me, Solo was more of a buddy cop movie. I didn't really need to know how Solo became Solo, uh, but it was more of a buddy cop movie all the same. But when they started with the Solo and they says, oh, we're going to branch off into Lando, we're going to branch off, I really didn't need to know about some of these characters, which is why I'm more interested in Kenobi, because he was the more mysterious out of the characters that of the Star Wars universe. I would agree. I would agree. Um, but if you people would like to hear all these great uh, thoughts we have about all these characters and all these movies, you have to tune in every other week or so uh, on um, and find out what we think. And uh, we'd love to hear what you think about these characters as well and what items you'd like us to cover most. So uh, won't you join us? Because who wouldn't want to be a kid? Again. This has been a production of MTMR Media Works.